Uh, hi all, well I'm just showing you a little project I'm doing at the moment. Um, this is a Sun GTI inverter, which is the, uh, not the old name plate there. Uh, you have to forgive the mess on the bench because we're a bit busy with lots of projects, but uh, basically this is working in current limit mode. And we're using the, the external input, for the external current limiter. This is their external current limiter which they normally use. Uh, they provide this as a, an extra and basically that is running down with the grid tie sensor there which is a little clip on CT into the box and then we come out with this lead and uh, we're coming down to my little box which happens to be this one here. Uh, in this we convert their 5 volt circuit or their 5 volt um, data which they're sending. They're sending at about 2 hertz and uh, we can see the sort of data they send on the screen. This is the actual signal. It's a 5 volt signal and it's basically running at 2 hertz frequency. And I convert that signal into a 485 signal using 485 level shifters which will allow me to transmit through well up to about a thousand meters if I want to uh, using proper transmission cable uh, and I then come to this little box here and what we do is we take the RS232 level shifted signal still running at 2 Hertz no fantastic data rates just running it there 2 Hertz and what you can see flashing of the two LEDs and that's basically showing if we're given a 5 volt out high or 5 volt low and we can see that that's just modulating away at the moment and it's basically giving us the same signal as we see on the scope here now if I uh, switch on a little bit more load as in there you will see that our output will change and there we go, we've gone to a positive voltage and if we come back we show that we've gone red but we're calling for maximum power and that signal is then fed into here where it's now giving us our 427 watts uh, maximum output and we're still a little bit short of the power we want so we're still taking 358 360 watts from the grid at the moment now if I turn the uh, if I turn the load off I'll take it back to the scope and then I'll turn low off and you'll see what will happen with the signal in a moment there we go, she's gone back the other way and then we're back to our modulating signal. We can see the slight differences in lengths as it sorts itself out. And we come back to our controller here, we're back to our 58. I'll say what I'll do is uh, I'll show, can I get a signal with both in? There we go, you can see the, the power output and what our lights are doing. So I'll put the low back on again. And you can see we've gone to the red to call for maximum power. And the GTI ramps up. And at the moment it can't stay lost to draw a little bit too much, but if I switch it off, you'll see she goes the other way, and then it will come back down to the point where it modulates again at around about the 50 watts that we've got on at the moment that we're drawing. But um, yeah, the whole point of the exercise was to extend this this signal uh, to say well over 100 meters uh, from my. Uh, mains intake because I've got all my equipment down the back of the garden and it also gives me uh, four outputs so coming out of this box I've got four outputs uh, all up to isolated uh, all individual so I can then feed that into four of these uh, grid tie and uh, I can modulate all of them from the the one input anyway that's enough for now we'll uh, look at going and fitting it all in into the live system and uh, we'll see how it works in the real world and cheers for watching